In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the product transaction history tool. And in this recent version, we had to actually completely change the tool from previous versions because Ali AliExpress has uh, removed the data from their website. So let me just show you real quickly here. So if we go to a web page here on AliExpress, it's a product page, and you scroll down, you see there's customer reviews. There used to be just underneath the customer reviews, there used to be a little section down here which would show all of the recent transactions and where the transactions came from, like what country they originated from. Well, they no longer provide that data anywhere on their website, so we can no longer um, harvest that data and analyze it. So instead, we found something else that we can use that's also very powerful, and you're going to love this. Let me show you what I've done. So let's go ahead and just do an example here. So let's start at the top and go right click and select Extract Product Sales History. And now we have this new window here, which is actually just a built-in web browser. And it's creating a web page and showing it into the web browser, and you got some awesome data here. Almost instantly, you see how fast that was, we have all the sales for the past 14 days for that given product. So we can see that just yesterday, they had 134 sales, and you go all the way down 14 days. And down here, we have another option where you can click total amount and now we can see the amount in dollar value of how much they made per day overall in sales. And up here you could see the total enough little quick view of everything going on. You got the total sales volume, the total sales amount over the whole 14 days, how many sales per day average, the amount of money made per day on an average there, so average amount of money, and also a link to the store and a link to the actual product. And one other thing we have here is the reliability of the actual seller. So this gives you an idea of how reliable they are before you start drop shipping with this company. So that's the new report and this is really cool because now you can actually save this to an HTML file. And the file is given the uh, the actual product ID is put into the file and then the date and time all the way down to the seconds was will be used to create the file name so you don't overwrite it. So then you could save that. And then you can actually take that file and you can deliver that to your customers if you're providing this kind of information for research purposes to your to your clients. And all you have to do is just deliver that file just like any other file. It's like a Word document or a PDF or anything. So if you click here again, you go to the last um, working folder and I'll bring up to where we were just saving stuff. And this is that file I'm talking about. So you can take this file and you can just deliver it to any of your customers if you want. All they do when they get the file is you simply double click it and it will just open up in their default web browser and it has still has the interactivity of moving their mouse along here and also seeing the different amounts. So that's a cool little feature there as well. Another awesome thing I did with this is it's handy to be able to see the sales really quickly for the different products you have narrowed down within Ali Inspector. So what we've done here now is if I can just kind of get this all into view, all you have to do is once this window is open, you can just keep it open and you can just go ahead and click any uh, any cell within that particular or row, just, just double click and it will automatically show you the sales for that product. So you can just see how fast that is. So now when you narrow down all your results based on all the different stuff you want to do in the filters, for example, you only, say you only want to look at products that had over, you know, a thousand orders in the past six months. So now we narrowed these down. Now we can sort. Let's take a look at this top one here, and you can see in the last week it did a thousand orders, so it's still selling very well. This could be a, a potential product that you could promote. So now we have a really good idea of how many sales we got. See, with the previous tool, we were very limited because we can only extract the most recent 1,000 transactions. But now we actually get to see 14 days of transactions. Before, sometimes that would only be a couple of days for some products that are selling a lot, you know, over 1,000 a day. You'd only see one or two days of sales. But now we have a full 14 days, and we can see really quickly how fast this pulls back the data. So it's pretty awesome. That's basically how to use the new product transaction history tool. And if you don't want to do it this way, you can also manually post or paste a link up here and click go to also do the same thing. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.